Do you want to create a video like this in CapCut using an AI character? You can do this for free. To get started, the first thing you need to do is screen record your footage and then import it into CapCut. In my previous video on this topic, you'll note that I used a voiceover so that I could create auto captions. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually add the text into CapCut. Start by writing a script in something like the Notes app and then import your screen recording into a CapCut project. You need to remove the default ending that CapCut puts into all of its videos. Advance the playhead by swiping left to the point where you want to start your video. Then select your clip, tap on split, select the footage to the left, and tap on the trash can to delete it. Your video will now start here. You should format the video so that there's room for the AI character. You tap on aspect ratio, select the one that you want, tap on the check mark. If you tap on background, you have the ability to add the standard blurred background. Tap on blur and select the level of blur that you want. I don't really like that because everyone does it. So I'm gonna tap on the symbol here to remove the blurred background, and I'm going to show you how I create a transparent background. You can do this effect and use any color you like. Select your clip and look for the duplicate option. It may be called copy. Tap on duplicate once, and you'll have a second copy of the same clip created. Now you're going to tap on overlay at the bottom. Make sure that the second clip is selected. Long press and hold on the second clip so that it looks like this and drag it back to the beginning of your video. Both clips line up perfectly at the beginning. Because it's the same clip, it should also line up perfectly at the end. Select your main clip, take two fingers and spread them apart like this so that your main clip fills the entire preview area. With your main clip still selected, you're going to swipe over and tap on opacity. Move the slider back and forth. I'm going to set it at about an opacity of 30. Then tap on the check mark. Tap in the open space to remove the selections. Now if you scrub through the clip, you'll notice that the background is transparent. This is just something I like to use in most of my videos because I find the blurred background does not look good in all of the videos. Once both of your clips line up perfectly, you can start to add your text. If you're going to add text manually into CapCut for the purposes of creating an AI character, type your text in the Notes app. Tap Allow Paste so that you can paste the text for the video. Now that your screen recording is formatted properly and your transparent background has been created, export the video out to your camera roll. I'm doing this so that I can make editing easier. Once the export is finished, tap the back arrow, tap the X to close the project, tap on the plus sign to create one more new project, and add the video clip that you just created. You don't need to preview it because it should be in the upper left hand corner, so just select it like that, and then tap on add. Open your notes app and write your script line by line. Select your first line of dialogue and then tap on copy. When you long press on your text to select a line of dialogue, make sure you tap on select and not select all. You'll need to switch back and forth between the notes app and CapCut to copy each line of dialogue. Go back into CapCut. If you've seen any of my previous videos on this topic, you'll know that the dialogue that the AI character speaks is determined by whatever text you enter. Back in CapCut, you're going to tap the text icon, the T, and then tap on Add Text. Then tap on Paste, and you'll notice the text will appear in the box. To make sure that your text is on screen for the proper amount of time, you can use the Text to Speech option. With your first caption selected, tap on Text to Speech. When the voices load, you're going to choose a voice. If you don't have a pro subscription to CapCut, you can use one of the voices that do not say pro in the upper 
left hand corner. I'm going to use the default voice Jesse just for this tutorial, but you can choose whatever voice sounds good to you. Select your voice and then tap the check mark and wait for the speech to be generated. If I swipe left, you'll see that the text I've added is now lined up properly with the video. Using the voice will allow you to get an idea of what your AI character will sound like. After you add the text to speech, you want to play the dialogue to see if it lines up with the screen recording properly. Open settings and scroll down to general, top general. Then swipe up to scroll down and select transfer or reset iPhone. At the bottom of the screen, you will see two options. If I move this caption and slide it back a little bit, when I let go, you'll notice that the audio file has moved with it. At the bottom of the screen, you will see two options. They are reset and erase all content and settings. So when you're done placing your captions, you can just tap on the clip, tap split, and delete the footage to the right. Make sure you remove the default ending. Every time you open a new CapCut project, that default ending is added to your last clip. Now that you've placed your captions, play the video to see how it sounds. Tap the back arrow to go back to the main toolbar. Tap the audio icon. You can now delete these audio files. Once you've deleted all of your audio files, you can create your AI character. Don't delete your text captions because they are required to create your AI character. Go back to the main toolbar, tap one of your captions, tap on AI characters. This may look a little bit different if you're working on a phone, but on an iPad, it looks like this. Choose the character that you want to use. Tap on the check mark. You'll have to agree to have your media uploaded. This can add some time to your AI character being generated. Tap confirm. Once it generates the speech, you have to wait till this number on the left reaches 100%. Once it does, your character will be completely generated and you can move it around the screen and make some changes to it. Once the character is complete, it will appear as an overlay layer inside your project. Tap this little thumbnail right here to expand the character. What you want to do is scrub through the video. Since the character's dialogue is based on the way the captions are positioned in your project, you can sometimes get multiple layers. If I snap that AI character layer to there, if there is a glitch in the final video, I will show you how to remove it. To move your character, tap on the 
character layer. And I'm just going to move it up to the top like that. If you do get multiple character layers and you need to make sure they're in the same position, you can use the green lines as guides when the character is selected. Remove each of your captions. Select each one, tap on the trash can to delete it, and it will disappear off screen. Go ahead and export your video. Bring your edited video into a new CapCut project so that you can remove the glitch, if there is one. In my case, the glitch appears in between the second and third clips in my video. So first, I'll add my rendered video to a new project. Move your playhead to the position in your edited video where you want your video to start. In my case, I'm going to remove the first two clips so my video starts with the line, do you see a problem with this home screen? That will take care of the glitch in the video since the rest of the video is okay. Export and save your video to the camera roll. How to reset the home screen layout in iOS 17. Do you see a problem with this home screen? If you look carefully, You'll notice Apple Messages is missing from the dock. It's available in the App Store. The fastest way to restore it is to reset your home screen layout. Open Settings and scroll down to General. Tap General. Then swipe up to scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. At the bottom of the screen, you will see some options. They are Reset and Erase All Content and Settings. Tap Reset, you will be presented with a list of options. They are Reset All Settings, Reset Network Settings, Reset Keyboard Dictionary, Reset Home Screen Layout, and Cancel. You need to tap Reset Home Screen Layout. Tap Reset Home Screen Layout to confirm this action. When you do, it may look like nothing has happened, but if you swipe up to Close Settings, you will see Apple Messages has been restored to the dock. You may need to manually add any custom widgets you previously had. In this example, the weather and calendar widgets were not deleted. This video was created using an AI character in CapCut. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.